Grand Rising family. This is another new Black World Order TV Productions. Uh huh. Chopper, chopper. What's happening, family? I want to talk about um the ongoing confusion that's going on in the quote unquote conscious community. If there is such a thing, um, but some say it is, some say it's not, some say it may be. But let's just roll on with it if it is such thing as a conscious community. Right. So I want to talk about the longstanding um, disunity, um, the tribes tripping over labels and fables. Right. Most of the stuff that people are arguing over and are taking as literal existence are basically systems of morality veiled in fables, allegories or what you call a myth or a story. And there's always a shred of truth to a myth, a fable, or a story, but we must um, be able to identify when we're dealing with a story that's a system of morality, good, bad, or indifferent, veiled in an allegory. Right, so let's get down to it. Most of you guys who are quote-unquote in the conscious community do not, I repeat, do not work for yourself. Um, in retrospect, you're not self-employed. You do not work for yourself. So you punch a clock, right? At one of, one of the businesses created by the people that you call the enemy, the oppressor. Right now, if you understand, right, the nuances or the dynamics of your coworkers and their belief systems, let's take for instance right here, and where I live at, there's a place that hires a great many of our people who are in the conscious community and not in the conscious community, meaning they may be in the church. They may be in the Nation of Islam. They may be Rastas, etc. Right. But they work for this place where we live out here called Rich Food. Right. Rich Food provides the area supermarkets and grocery stores or corner stores with their stock or supplies. Right. So uh, many of our people work there. Most of them are Christian, Baptist or whatever of that nature. Um, there are scattered Muslims working there, Hebrew Israelites and not a lot of the other factories in this area. You work there. So the white man or the person who employs you use the number of people there. Right. The quantity and the quality of people there to produce the product or the service that he is selling to the world, right? Thus, he is producing an income for himself and his family and taking the, the bulk of the profits back to his community. But the workers are the ones who are actually, actually producing this desired result because of their unification at the time clock, because of their unification at the pro production line, right, or at the call centers, right, whatever that is, a product or a service that this person is hiring you as the employee to accomplish. But you seem to work alongside, work alongside other black folks who basically look like you, are genetically made up as the same as you, right? But y'all happen to have different, different myths. I mean, different stories. I mean, different fables. Uh, so y'all have different belief systems. But at the production line or at the time clock, right, or at the call center, right, when you are engaged in, right, the work that you have been hired to do, right, you guys do not shut down the production line, the call center, for hours and hours and days and days and months in on out, such as the work on our community that's being stalled because of the tribes tripping over labels and fables. You do not do this on this job, right? Even though you're working in tandem for your oppressor, right? After you punch that time clock, along with other black folks who genetically fit the similarity, uh-huh, right, as you making them your kinfolk, your tribesmen, but y'all tripping over labels, right? You do not do this at your job. You 
work the time that you're there because you're saying, I got to get this new car. I got to get this, uh, this new house. I have to, in fact, right, take care of my family. You know, a man got to do what a man got to do. Or as the sisters say, a uh, woman got to do what a woman got to do to take care of her children, and specifically if she is uh, a single parent. Or whether or not there are two parents in the home working to secure um, food, clothing, and shelter for those children and a good education later on, etc. You submit to a gag order, right? You're silent on the job while you're producing the work for your oppressors, working alongside your own people while developing the same economic viability of your own, you cannot do it. It's stalled. It's put on the back burner, right? So my people, you need to really take a look at where you work at. And you also work alongside other nationalities who also have multiple belief systems. But none of you motherfuckers are on that job tripping, right? Shutting down the progress of the oppressor that you punched the clock to work for. But you won't. You will not agree to the same set of rules to work and produce something for the benefit of your own people. Neither will the leaders of your group steer their congregations or their organizations or their followers in that direction, right, that you take in order to get money to support your local preacher, to support your local uh, Hebrew rabbi, or to support your local Islamic imam, or your local temple ministers, right, or your local... Uh, roster place but you guys tend to you tend to right you tend to support that which does not produce the desired result that your oppressor is getting by you clocking in right so if we can um not talk about politics and religion on the oppressor's job to get his right production out so that he can make progress for himself his family and his community while yours lay dormant, right, and the destruction prevails. All I'm saying to you is, what are we going to do? When are we going to mature and stop acting like children and take the same silence that we are forced to do out of necessity to do something for ourselves that we do on a job every day? You know damn well is a Muslim working with you on your job. From the nation of Islam. You know damn well there's a pork eating Negro pen working beside you on your job, a Hebrew Israelite. And then soon as y'all work together all those eight hours, right? The whole shift to produce the production for your oppressors, right? But then soon as you clock out, you can't unite with the same damn people you just finished working with. Imagine that. Imagine the stupidity of that, that you can't even, once clocking out, go out into the community and unite with the same damn people you just pulled the shift with, right? You just can't simply do it.